Hello AFAM and welcome to England in the UK. I'm Ashley and this is Josh. Welcome to our channel. We sold everything we had to travel the world and now we want to share with you the way away. So be sure to subscribe, give us a like and hit that bell so you can follow more of our adventures. Let's go. We've been spending the past several days, almost the past two weeks now, at our friend Tony and Zoe's house. They've been kind enough to host us here in England as we've been visiting the UK. Yeah. It's been an amazing time. So Tony was a viewer of our channel, um, what, two years ago? When we Plus. were in Liverpool, yeah. we were working at a hostel um, for food and housing, and Tony got a hold of us and said, hey, I want to show you around. Since then, we've kept in contact, mostly on Twitter, I think, and he invited us to stay at his house while we're here in England. Yeah. We thought we'd take this opportunity to do something nice for him and Zoe, and we are going to cook a Sunday roast. So, we're American. <laughs> we don't do a Sunday roast. Uh, we had to look no. this all up. You know, you've, we've heard about it, perhaps watching Downton Abbey or something like that. <laughs> but what is a Sunday roast? Like, Ash has been Googling this, and oh as my best gosh. as we can tell, it's kind of like you take everything from the prior week and you make a big, like, comfort food meal for Sunday? Uh, I don't know if that's how I would describe it. Okay, because that's I think that you take the food from this meal, uh -huh. and that's what you have the rest oh, of Oh, it's the other way around. Yeah, like Thanksgiving. Okay. And then you have the leftovers and you make what the pulled pork sandwich is, or whatever you okay. do, but... What we're going to do today is we're going to make one form of meat, um, which we've chosen chicken, a whole chicken, like the body. Yeah. I've never cooked that before. Um, we're going to cook a few different vegetables, which are important. We're going to cook some potatoes. Potatoes done in the oven or mashed potatoes are acceptable. Mm -hmm. We're going to do oven roasted. Okay. And then lastly, we are going to do some Yorkshire puddings, which I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> So this should be really interesting. We'd love to see you guys' critiques in the comments down below as we mess everything up. Uh, we're going to try our best to make a traditional Sunday roast and share it with our English friends. But first, we need to go shopping. We're at the Aldi. This is where all good British people go to find their <laughs> Sunday, <laughs> Sunday roast <laughs> options. We have all the basics that we need already because yeah. Zoe obviously has her own kitchen and yeah, stuff. Yeah. But and there so are a few extras that we need. What do you have? A small list. I need orange juice, a whole chicken, lemons, thyme, like fresh thyme, um, red cabbage. So we'll see if Aldi has all these items. But I think that will be good. We probably can get everything here. The whole chicken is the only thing I'm a little worried about. Hmm. But riddle me this, Britain, or UK really, I don't understand why all of your vegetables and your fruits are in plastic. Why, why take fresh vegetables and place them in plastic? I just... I don't understand. I need one apple, huh? Not only that, but it just seems so wasteful, like just putting plastic on everything. Like, look, plastic, plastic, plastic. Why not just have them open and put them in a paper bag? We're gonna have to go to another store because they don't have red cabbage and I need Brussels sprouts. So they've only got like two or three of the things you need? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but Scratch we know that. of a little more expensive. Actually, they have whole chicken, so we'll get that here because it's going to be cheaper here than in Morris. For sure. Like, what is it? Veg and meats is cheaper at Aldi generally? Yeah, I think so. Okay. That's what said. All right. I personally think the small one will be fine because we have a bunch of other stuff in the middle. which is more of a specialty grocery store as well as things are priced a little higher than Aldi, um, but you'll be able to find things like Brussels sprouts here. And you can get one individual lemon instead of having to buy a whole package of them. So Ashley's been researching <laughs> how to make Sunday roast. Yep. First off, I'm going to use a YouTube video to cook this little ch chickadoo. So you just cooked it by itself? Yeah, well, we're gonna we're gonna stuff some lemon inside him. We're gonna use garlic, onion. So we're gonna put it in a pan, but it takes the longest to cook. That's why we have to put it in first. Rule number one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this is how we gotta do it. YouTube to the rescue. <laughs> so I've never I've never cooked a chicken, a full chicken before in my life. Never. Never. 
Only oh, like chicken breast that I've ever cooked. <laughs> Never a full on chicken. And this oh. is a baby chicken. Josh and I were saying in the car, we hope that it doesn't like shrivel up and then like, <laughs> like deflate. Like 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like gristle. <laughs> Chewing on it. Yeah. Hopefully. There he is. Oh, you just oh, like you're gonna roast them. Oh, yes. We're, we're steaming them. In orange. In orange, orange juice. juice. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> we saw it on a YouTube video and looked delicious. <laughs> she's saying she's posh. Yeah, in orange juice. Yorkshire pudding tins are in there. Uh huh. That's what you're making. Okay. And then right. uh, spatulas. There's oh, I'll have also. Oh, do you have an apron? Yep. Oh, okay. I prefer Oh, we got a match. Oh, yeah. Is that a pretty one? Yeah, but this is Jane Young. Josh, 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 Josh is Jane Young. Have you even got a pretty one? Oh, I've oh, got frills. Oh, that's Josh. Oh. <laughs> that is nice. I need one of those yeah. and a bit more. <laughs> yeah. They're just for show. Zoe and Tony out. Now it's time to put the chicken in the oven. We just have to cover it up. It's my first ever full chicken and it looks so cute. Who knew that like a little naked bird would look so cute? <laughs> okay, so what's your game plan for this whole thing? Okay, so I've gone through YouTube. I've found a few different recipes of the items that I want to make. Um, so I have like three or four YouTube videos queued up because I want to do this perfect. Um, so this is going in the oven. Next we'll start on the veg and then the Yorkshire pudding, which I'm nervous about. But I'll try it and give it a go. Oh gosh, that could be, this could be a fail. This whole thing could be a fail. This baby chicken, Josh and I are worried about all the juices leaking out and it just being like a when we cut it open. <laughs> Okay, so Ash has got a pan of this thing. What did you what did you call this? Okay, so this is going to be roasted potatoes, but our British friends keep calling them roasties. Um, normally they use regular potatoes, but we had sweet potatoes on hand already that I hadn't used this week, so we kind of switched it out. We have sweet potatoes, onions, and a little garlic. I'm gonna drizzle olive oil, and then we're gonna use some salt and pepper, and also some dried parsley. And then, a new recipe, don't judge me. I saw this on YouTube, so it must be delicious. Maybe it's not traditional, <laughs> but it's a, it's a take on a tradition. So, supposedly the vegetables that come with the Sunday roast are traditionally carrots, and possibly turnips, but you can switch the veg out for whatever you want. So I, we're gonna... I imagine it has a lot to do with whose mom is making the dish. Sure, yeah, yeah, it changes. And so we're gonna do carrots, but we've chosen to also use a Brussels sprouts, which I'm gonna put in here. And then what we're going to do is add orange juice. And supposedly we put them in the oven and it steams the orange juice through the vegetables. It sounds delicious, but I have no idea if it's gonna taste good. Is this the part where you're really worried about it being horrible and tasting weird? It could taste really weird. But anything to make cooked carrots taste better, I'm down for, because I'm not a fan. <laughs> ovens are in the UK because you have to make a Sunday dinner and um, you need all the space you can get. So in the US it's not usual that you have all these different compartments. You just have the one. But I have chicken going in here, I have potatoes in here, I'm gonna have Yorkshire puddings in here. You have to have all these ovens. Oh my gosh, so 
the dreaded Yorkshire pudding moment. This is oil in these little tins that I had to get hot first. They reuse their oil, um, and I have the Yorkshire pudding. Uh, it's pretty much pancake pudding or pancake mix without the um, baking soda, so or baking powder. I'm supposed to pour this in here. Oh, that's a big one. And it's supposed to start cooking it in the oil. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure how much to put in. So they could be ginormous. <laughs> but we put them back in the oven for about 25 minutes and they should puff up. This could be a complete fail. I'm really nervous. <laughs> I don't know how they'll turn out. I did a Jamie Oliver recipe, um, but supposedly the Yorkshire puddings are probably one of the hardest things to make. So many have, people have problems with them. So today uh, could be my day. Fail. Just like stamp fail on the board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not confident. <laughs> proud of that I did today was um, where white pants while I uh, cooked and I didn't get anything on them Apron <laughs> so <and> far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think these are good. Wow, this is looking super good. Yeah! Woo I was not expecting it to all come out, but I think we're good. And I can say that I made a proper Sunday roast. Uh We'll have to see what Tony and Zoe have to say about That's that. That's true. That's just cool. You know, it looks like They're already correcting her gravy. It's, <laughs> they said it didn't look brown enough? Chicken! Chicken is light! Brown is like for brown meat. Like I trust you. Brown meat. <laughs> chicken is... It's like chicken stock, right? Oh, it's yeah, we're good. That's good. Let's try it. Let's, let's play it up, I guess. How are you and Josh? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> the pick. All right. Well, what do you guys think? What's the verdict? Do we have our uh, nice. our opinions? Yeah. Ni nicest thing so far are the carrots, which are soaked in orange. So I it's like really the nice. Too. Oh, that was the uh, the dangerous one. Soaked in carrots. Yeah. Yeah. So that is really nice. Now, how does this compare to something that you've eaten all your life growing up, or is this a, is this a departure from what you're used to? Yeah. It, well. Uh, the basics like uh, carrots um, and cabbage and stuff, it's all the same, but it's just different flavours. Mm. So it's more like a Christmassy like mix, it's nice. Mm. Sweet potato roasties are nice as well. Really good. Mm. Alright. Really <laughs> well, I think it's a success then. <laughs> and I'm going to eat mine. Mm. 